please. He giggles, tell me you did not get your little sister to make a three minute video of fuckery. I didn't watch the video, but my daughter did. So she can respond to that little girl. Then her sister tries coming for me by coming from my mom, but tell my mom like to tell me about coming at my mom for saying me. I don't understand where she was coming from. I don't know. All I know, she started off the video. I don't know who you is. Look, you like a duck. Since when have that ever been cute? You're ghetto, you're ratchet, you're hood, you're ignorant. I don't understand where any of that is ever cute. I don't know who you is. That's what I look like. Word that you gonna leave that sentence like that? Boo, that's a fragment. You feel me? I'm just like really shocked. Like, no, she did. I Girl, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. I'm speechless. Like, right, really, I got a little emotional over it, you know what I mean? Because I just can't believe she start off a video like that, you know? Like, a bit, that's how you talk in real life, you feel me? And, of course, gigs, lap dogs, <laughs> here they come. Yeah, I know that's right. Do that slide. It was the corniest line I ever heard. I guess that's a Miami thing. Slide means like go ahead about your business, whatever it means. Like, let's get ratchet, let's really get ready. Like, I was just like, right, so we're making them new phrases now. All right, we're cool, cool. All right, this is how the video went. I don't know who you is. This one got nothing to do with gigs. This her twin, this her sister, whatever. Like, yeah, and don't put me in nothing because you don't know nothing. Your daughter probably sleeping around and smoking like I do and drinking like I do and doing drugs like I do. He didn't say nothing about your sleeping drink. My mom just said, because they should come at me for defending my mom, like, oh, they get them off on that child when I'm quoting everything they're saying, but we're not going to get into it. It was like, oh, yeah, they get them off on that child. I wouldn't be, um, or like, I wouldn't be proud, basically. Priorities. Boo. Like, first of all, I'm quoting y'all. So if I'm ignorant, ratchet, and saying I'm stupid, and, oh, look at the mouth on that child. That's what y'all sound like, because I'm quoting y'all. You just, all right, we just gonna leave her alone. Then, so my mom was like, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with my daughter or whatever. She defended me. She quoting y'all retards. And I know y'all not talking about my parenting skills. When Giz got, I guess the Joan got the twin. She said, Giz got the twin smoking and effing. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know when that ever been cute. That's like, for real. So Joan trying to prove a point. Like, uh-uh, don't bring me into this because you don't know what your daughter doing. Let me tell you something, boo. Because you sound dumb because you don't know what my mom knows. So you're trying to tell her about her child. We know what you do. Because your sister, oh, when the last time you get some? Two weeks ago. Why need me some? Y'all made that public. Y'all don't know. Right. You don't know the good. You don't know what I'm doing. Because I didn't make it public. I didn't make a video. And I'm on black TV. Like, oh. And they drinking and effing and smoking and all that. Come on now. So she's trying to come in my mind by saying, you don't know what you're doing. She probably doing. You just, she doing stuff that she don't know. Everything I do. No, like literally. You like, all right. I don't call her. I'm about to take a poo. But everything that's like. Mom, I'm doing this. Mom, I'm doing that. Mom, this happened. Literally, my mom is my best friend. My mom, you can't tell my mom something she don't know about me. You can't. Not my attitude, not what I'm doing outside of school, not what I'm in school. She knows me. We had a relationship where she knows everything. Maybe some stuff that she don't even like. She may not be like, oh yeah, like, go ahead, girl, go ahead, girl. But it's nothing ratchet and crazy. It's regular teenage stuff. You feel me? Like, you grown, you doing you. That's all well and good. But her whole thing, don't blast. What you do, and then come at somebody else because like you're nobody to judge. You feel me? Only God can judge. And it's her. My mom wasn't trying. My mom never was like, "Oh, you lost some holes over there." But she just was saying, "Don't come at my daughter." Saying, oh, "I went um, brag about the parenting priorities." When your sister's doing like way worse than on camera. Like people know what they're doing. You don't know what my daughter doing. That's what she was saying. Like, and my daughter is not. Penn State, like, here we come. Like, what do you mean? Like, you can't say nothing about, like, you're comparing yourself to me for why. Like, you can't compare. There's no comparison, boom. There's not. There really isn't. Like, bye. Go ahead with yourself. Oh, I ain't watched the video. Da -da 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 -da. But at the end of my mom video, when my mom talks about her, you had to watch the whole video to see that part because at the end, you lying. You a fraud for real. Just don't try to come for me starting off a video where I don't know who you is. Don't compare me and you to, because we, there's no comparison. Like, you smoke, you drink, you F. Drugs, whatever you was talking about. My mom knows everything I'm doing, and I'm not doing none of that ratchetness. Like, and if I was, guarantee I'd be like, yo, mom, I'm not proud of it, but, like, right.
that's how that will go down. You, on the other hand, there is no, we don't, there's nothing there. There's just, who are you again? Like, you start off a video, I don't know who you is. We are not friends. Just don't talk to me because that was just rude to my ears, to viewers, and everybody who read shit and was like, yeah, do that. Y'all need Jesus. I'm not going to say I'm going to pray because I'll be lying. I was like, all right. Who cares? Um, that's how that went. So, and maybe she'll come out with another video. Like, I don't know who she thinks she is again, y'all, but I don't care. I don't. All I know, it was some mad immaturity yesterday. Like, real mad. Um, you feel me? It's like, it, I just thought, like, even with friends, like, there should be always a constant, oh, look what she doing. I won't be higher than that. Oh, look, okay, I'm gonna, she going for a bachelor? I'm gonna go to a She can have I want to go to PhD. You feel me? You always want to go higher. Your friends should be challenging you. Your people, your peers, your mentors, they should be challenging you to better yourself. And if they're not doing it, then it shouldn't be in your life. Point blank. What are y'all doing with y'all life? Uh? What are you like? I work two jobs. Can your daughter hold that kind of weight? <sighs> really? Then she's like, oh, she may be worried about school, but can she hold that kind of weight? You see, I'm just dumb. Just leave it alone. Just drop it. Just end it. Just leave it alone. Like, you sound so stupid. I, um, I'm not. I don't know what you. I don't know your job. And then you, like, I'm going to trade school. Like, good for you. That is your life. Hey, fine. I don't care. Like, good. Why are you comparing us? And I don't care if you want to Princeton or Harvard or well, I got you explain yourself to us. We don't care. We don't. We don't care. Y'all, that video was a waste of time because I think you were trying to come in my, my neck, but you really didn't because you were just like comparing us and saying like, I got two jobs. Can your daughter do two jobs? Oh, I don't care if you worry about school because I want to trade school. And what my trade is going to be, I don't need to go to college for it, so I don't care. Because she, go she going to Harvard and Princeton, I don't care because I don't got to go. That's what it sounded like. That's what the video was to me. That's what it was. I don't know who you is. This don't got nothing to do with gigs. Technically, it do got something to do with gigs because you ain't found out about all this happened from gigs. It was on gigs page. Like, what do you mean? She tagged you in it. Like, come on. Y'all just too much. Y'all doing too much. Just sit down. Take a seat. Like, for real. There's other things going on in the world right now, and y'all go, this is black people, this is black people for you. They go off on emotion all the time, go hard and pay for some emotion, but they don't think. They don't use their noodle. They don't. They so quick to go ham, turkey, and bacon on something that's really not even, like, fight over. It's not even that deep. She was her opinion, you don't like it, delete her, block her, ignore, bam, you solved it. You don't got to deal with it. No. Is it necessary? Did you get what you wanted? I sure hope it was worth it, because... And my off, and actually some of her people, like, you'd be surprised. Like, all your little lab dogs ain't all lab dogs because, boom, there's a lot of fake people in your camp. Let me just tell you right now because there's people liking your comments and liking all the stuff y'all doing and commenting on it. But hit my mom inbox, like, I don't know, she's tripping. It's not even that big of a deal. Comment on her. Like, that's on you. I hope people see y'all ignorance. I don't, you don't got to say nothing. They, and people even said that, like, oh, you don't got time for the drama, but you taking her in post, though. People who said it, everybody who defended me, my mom, whatever, whatever she blocks. So common sense and knowledge is just not acceptable here. My daughter told me little snippets of what the fuck was going on on the video. And I heard that she started out talking about, I don't know who you is. And rolling her neck and everything. Come on, boo. Like, we don't do that around here. We college bound around here. Is that what you're mad at? Are you mad that I'm married? Are you mad that, like, I don't have to sit here and start drama, but I damn sure can finish it? Because you got little fucking groupies on there, or you got a little fan club. You think, what, you won this war, bitch? You ain't win nothing. You don't do YouTube drama, but you damn sure do Facebook drama. Like, you want to get an 18-year-old to talk to me? No. No, boo. 18 is just a number. You barely legal, and you just old enough to vote. You're not old enough to be fucking and drinking. My daughter made a response video to that little girl. I'm not going to sit here and argue with no little child. She's a child. That's where you got it fucked up, gigs. I'm talking to you. Did you let this little girl believe that she grown? She's not. 18 is barely fucking legal. Imagine where your mind was at 18. It still need molding. It still needs help going into the future to live on her own. You ain't the hell grown. What bills you paying? What car are you driving? What insurance you paying? Like, you ain't the hell grown because you got a 1 in 8 in your goddamn age. My daughter turned 18 in June. And you think she grown? No, I don't think she grown. I think she old enough to vote. 
old enough to drive. That's about it. I'm not sitting on arguing with this little girl or going back and forth with you. You want to go to trade school? My daughter want to go to college. You want to be fucking? My daughter don't. You want to be drinking? My daughter don't. She don't have to make an excuse for anything she does. That's my best friend. She tells me everything, the good, the bad, and the fucking ugly. That's what type of relationship we have. Where she knows I'm a mother and I'll put my foot in her ass if need be. But I'm also here for her if she needs to talk to me about anything. So don't tell me probably what my daughter's doing. Probably, probably, probably. Don't know. You don't know what my fucking daughter is doing. I know what my daughter is doing. Your sister condones what you're doing. And that's the fucking problem. Don't talk about I'm a fucking bad parent when my fucking daughter is on the right track in life. President of clubs. She created a club, Diverse Authority. She is going to Penn State. She is graduating with honors. Bitch, that's what I know. And as far as drinking and fucking and all that, she not into that. Yeah, she tried drinking one time, hangover, the end. She's a teenager. She's not sitting there drinking every goddamn week or thinking that shit is cute. She tried it once. And she came and told me about it. Sitting there talking to me. I'm a grown ass woman. Don't talk to me. You are not grown. Because you're 18 years old. Trust me. You still got too much growing to do. And that's the misconception your sister giving you. That you are grown. Because you're not boo. Far from it. Trust. You still have a lot to learn. So when you learn that. Then come and talk to me. This was between me and your sister. She decided to pull you in there. Because I called her a fucked up influence. Then oh well. She's still the fucked up influence. Then on the video, you talking about doing drugs. Ain't nobody even say that. That's even worse. Bop to the girl. Like, you don't do YouTube drama, but you damn sure do Facebook drama. And where do they do that at? Did they sit there and make a fucking video and then block you? Bitch, so you talking behind my back. And know this. <laughs> I need you to get it together. You are not holier than now. And don't be having no little girl come for me. If you want to talk to me, we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. However you want to do the Skype, Uvo, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, what you want to do? You tag me and shit, and then you want to sit there and have a little girl come at me? That shows how fucking mature you are. Case and point.